Hey guys, in this video I'll be talking about adding and subtracting with significant figures. In a previous video I went over the general rules to identifying how many significant figure a number has. If you haven't watched that video, the link for that one will be in the description below. But without further ado, let's get this video started. When you add or subtract, you don't necessarily have to worry about significant figures, rather you're more concerned with how many decimal places the numbers that you're adding have. The answer should have the least number of decimal places. So let's do some examples and hopefully that clarifies. First one we have is 11.05 plus 11. When you're adding or subtracting, or even when you're multiplying or dividing, don't add any placeholders and that will change the number of decimal places and also the number of significant figures. So just leave it the way it is. So in this case, I'm just going to go ahead and add straight down. So that's five zero two two. So that's twenty two point zero five. And I said that the final answer will have the least number of decimal places. So if you look at the two numbers that we added, we see that eleven point zero five has two decimal places, but eleven doesn't have any decimal places. So the final answer shouldn't have any decimal places. So what I like to do and how I've seen others do it also, I draw a dashed line through the entire problem right after the last digit of the number with the least de uh, number of decimal places. So right after the 1 and the 11 down here, we can draw a dashed line that goes through everything. So now we know which place value we need to round to. We should round to, to the uh, nearest whole number. And this 0 is going to tell us if we should round up or down. Since 0 is less than 5, we're going to round down. So the final answer will be 22. And that's the final answer for that problem. We'll do this problem next, although I have written it as number 3. So, just like last time, I'm going to add straight down, but first, since we know the answer will have the least number of decimal places, I'll go ahead and draw a dashed line after the last digit of the number that has the least number of decimal places. So the 8.11 only has two decimal places, where the 19.117 has three. So the final answer should only have two decimal places. So we can draw a dashed line right over here. And now we can add straight down. So now, so now we have 27.227 and we're rounding to the nearest hundred and this seven will tell us if we need to round up or down since the seven is greater than five we're rounding up so the final answer will be twenty seven point twenty three if we have more than two things that we're adding we follow the exact same procedure we go with the least number of decimal places in this case 23 doesn't have any decimal places, so 20. Uh, so the final answer will not have any decimal places. So just like last time, we can go ahead and draw a dashed line right after the 3 that goes through everything. So now we can just go ahead and add straight down. So now we have 61.4. And we're rounding to the nearest whole number. And this 4 will tell us if we need to round up or down. And since the 4 is less than 5, we're rounding down. So the final answer will be 61. Next, we have 800 plus 12.1. Don't get confused and look at the 800 and say that it only has one significant figure. Although it has one significant figure, when we're adding, we're only concerned with the number of decimal places. In this case, 
we'll draw the dashed line right after the last zero over and the 800. So the final answer will not have any decimal places. So we can just go ahead and add straight down. And once again, we're rounding to the nearest whole number. And the number on the right tells us if we should round up or down. And since 1 is less than 5, we're going to round down. The final answer will be 812. If we're subtracting, we're doing the exact same thing. So number, uh, first we have 11.05 minus 11. Just like last time, we go with the number, we go with the least number of decimal places. In this case, 11 doesn't have any decimal places. So the final answer won't have any decimal places. So we can draw a dashed line right after this one. And then we can just go ahead and add straight down, I mean, subtract straight down. Now we know we're rounding to the nearest whole number again. And this number on the right tells us if we should round up or down. And since 0 is less than 5, we are rounding down. And the final answer is going to be 0. Once again, I've written this as number 3, but I will do this one next. So we're going to identify which of these two have the least number of decimal places. And in this case, 8.11 has the least number of decimal places. So we can draw a dashed line right after this one. So we'll, we'll draw the dashed line that goes through everything. And now we can just subtract straight down. We have 11.007 and we know we're rounding to the nearest hundredth and this 7 will tell us if we need to round up or down and since 7 is greater than 5 we are rounding up so the final answer will be 11.01. Next we have subtraction and addition in the same problem. In this case, you don't need to do PEMDAS because when you're adding and subtracting, you go from left to right. So if this was written uh, horizontally and it was written 23 minus 16.4 plus 22.0, you would just do whichever one is on the left or whichever one you see first on the left. So in this case, we, uh, we have the 23 that has the least number of decimal places. It has no decimal places, so we can go ahead and draw the dashed line right after the 3 and make that dashed line go through everything. And now we can just go ahead and subtract and add in this order. So first we're going to subtract 16.4 uh, from 23, then we'll add the 22 to this answer. So you can do that on the calculator, but I'm just going to write the answer. Uh, we get 29.4 and we know that we're rounding to this place value and the number on the right tells us if we should round up or down so the final answer is going to be just 29. Next we have 19.8 minus 8.75 plus 11 and once again you'd go from left to right so you'd subtract first then you'd add so 19.8 minus 8.75, whatever answer you get, add 11 to that. So, and the final answer still will have the least number of decimal places. In this case, this 11 has the least number of decimal places because it has no decimal places. So we're just going to go ahead and draw the dashed line right after this 11. And our final answer will be, and the answer, or to this operation will be 22.05 and we're rounding to this place value and the number on the right tells us if we should round up or down and since 0 is less than 5 
we're rounding down so the final answer will just be 22. I hope this helped if you have any questions don't hesitate to leave a comment I've made another video where I go over multiplication and division with significant figures if you have uh, that video will be that video as well as the video with the general rules of significant figures will be linked at the end of this video and also will be linked in the description if you haven't already subscribe take care and I'll see you guys next time